Okay, so as promised, I, uh, did I promise you this? I don't know if I promise you. But hey, welcome to another Toronto Don Media Show and tell what the hell, uh, bullshitting around kind of stuff. Uh, these are some of the, uh, quarantine projects I've been working on. <laughs> uh, these were some of the cards that were not as good looking, so I made it into a collage. Yeah. So it's gonna look nice at the studio, just hanging this up there, uh... I really like the Serpent Society. I wish this card wasn't messed up. But a lot of these cards, I was like, ah, damn it, did it have to get messed up? Especially the Stanley, Mr. Marvel himself. Um, so, yeah, that's just, and it's all, I did it on black cardboard. It cost me about 50 cents uh, with the glue. And uh, it's going to look nice. I'm going to try, I, these, I had another one with some spawn cards. But I'll just go over some more of these real quick. Show you um, uh, some of the... Uh, the cards we're working with here today uh marvel and a few other surprises here so let's get let's get the card the spawn cards here just to show you well this is another i'm not gonna put these well maybe i should put this in the case rob leefield young blood this is a jay lee illustration though jay lee is a way more competent illustrator than um rob leefield um so yeah, this is this one came out through a Wizard magazine card. Uh, Wizard, of course, is a uh, I don't know, it doesn't exist anymore. But um, Wizard was a publication uh, that highlighted everything about that was comic book related, had some toy related, even had some uh, was it Bart Sears had a like a how to draw this and how to draw that. I really like Wizard magazine. Uh, again, this is pre internet days, so every month I'd get this big you know, nice thick size magazine with all the latest comic news and some comic prices and values and conventions that were going on. Um, there's a heavy metal card here, another heavy metal card here. And these are a bunch of spawn cards. I don't have, I don't know why they made them so long. This is when spawn was so cool. Um, and, um, these don't fit in your traditional card holder. So, uh, Pilot Spawn Action Figure Card. Commando Spawn, was it? Uh, some of these were pretty cool because you had different artists on there um, and their versions of Spawn, and it kind of gave you a different... Uh, look, this is a nice illustration here. Different perspective of, of what other artists would imagine Spawn to be like. A whole bunch of these. I did make a separate one of uh, a separate. I liked this one a lot. This one's pretty damn cool. Um, another collage just because a lot of these got messed up as well. Um, medieval spawn. So they're making a new spawn. Uh, I guess. It pays homage to the original Spawn toy. Uh, so let's get back to some of these. Uh, I got some random Transformer figures. A Series 4 Dark Angel card. Um, here's some interesting stuff. I got some DC um, cards as well in here. I wish I had more of them. Um, I might just go back and do that one day. Just go uh, collect. I, I don't know. Uh, Skybox put them out. Uh, 1993, and I don't know if DC actually um, made two series. You know, they all looked about the same. Another heavy metal card there. Oh, this one. Uh, oh, here, these were pretty interesting. Ghost Rider had his own series of cards, and I think they, did they glow in the dark? But I liked the back of them. I don't know if this is, who put these cards out. Comic images. Oh, we won't put this one on for that long. It's a Rob Liefeld artwork one. Break the camera. And I believe, yeah, these did glow in the dark. Let's see. Did they? I want to say they did. I want to say there were some glow in the dark cards. Um, 
Yeah, they did. Very cool. Camera's not picking up exactly. It starts blurring it out, but you guys get the idea. That's a pretty cool idea. I wish I had brought that back. Uh, what do I got here? These are weird. These are from 1991 X-Men trading cards, but I don't remember these being the official ones or the ones that um, Impel had put out. Who put out these? Comic Images put out these cards as well. So I'd like to look more into the Comic Images one. I forgot where, I, you know, what the whole story with those were. I think they're, maybe they're comic exclusives. Um, more heavy metal. Who did this one? Ken Kelly. There's a pretty good illustration here, too. Ken Kelly. Another Ken Kelly. I guess he's what? Uh, these are all Ken Kelly cards. I thought they were heavy metal cards. Um, Transformers. And this is way later on. I just threw in the pile. So more heavy metal. More heavy metal. More heavy metal. Uh, and another DC. Crimson Fox. Crimson Fox didn't have the greatest costume at that time, but um looking at a few more dc a bunch of these are a bunch of heavy metal cards here let's go through some marvel ones real quick before we put them away and um and then i'm going to show you some real special cards after that this one's a little damaged but i like the image here server server versus mephisto we need a mephisto uh toy here's a weird team up spider-man and sleepwalker Sleepwalker was that weird ship shift and alien apocalypse with this big smile, this big anime smile. The way Walt Simon would Simonson would do it. Daredevil's clubs, Spider Man versus Venom. I just like this card. Here's Sleepwalker. Rabbit Hammer, Flare Ultra, Cable, uh, part of a Lady Death. Like you put them together, it didn't look good in the cases together because they would separate like that. But it's intentionally supposed to look kind of like you put it all together like that. So, Chantress, still want to see her. And it's something more. This is another great. I love this card right here. Really well illustrated. Yeah, very nice. Two of my favorite characters. Silver Surfer and Galactus. Silver Surfer is probably my favorite hero. Fool killer. Likes to kill fools. Glenn Fabry art. Very nice. Nicely done. I'm not a big Deadpool fan, but this is a nice... Uh, illustration another good one here a black com cassidy from the flare ultra uh atlantis attacks loki on top of a city uh, those are random heavy metal cards and olivia he's having an olivia calendar the Brotherhood of Evil Mutants. Not the best way to market yourself, but, you know, when you call yourself Evil Mutants, you kind of just give yourself away. Ah, here's a, this is not the best condition. Might have to use this for a collage, but it is a slime, nice Simon Bisley. And a bunch of other fucking spawn cards. Sass Crotch. Another Lady Death. Not uh, as this is. I remember this being one of the first cards I had. The Magneto card. It's not in the best condition, but still a nice, nice little illustration, and brings back some awesome memories. And we got two more piles to go before we go into some of the heavy hitting. The ooh, what's this here? Oh, we already went through that. Before I go into the heavy hitter holograms, and special cards. And this is 
something interesting here. Here's some of the Guardians of the Galaxy. This card's not in the best shape either. Um, let me try to look for a replacement before I put it into a like collage. Um, Baron Strucker versus Nick Fury. Pretty cool card too. Oh. A prism card of, uh, what is this, Young Blood? Look at that stupid Rob Leafield art right there. Fucking mouth all going to another direction. He has to draw a bunch of, like, lines and wrinkles on their faces. Dude never learned crosshatching, man. Iceman Human Torch. Ah, an Infinity card. Looks like some Ron Lim artwork. Some good Ron Lim artwork. I have to sneeze, sorry. Uh, some more, uh, this is a great Julie Bell picture of a uh, rogue here. Or, yeah, Julie Bell. Uh, or surprisingly, there is no heavy chrome, but if you just look at this animation, I mean, this uh, illustration painting here is just beautiful, beautiful. Real awesome card. Captain Marvel. Another good card. Marvel. Coming to television, 1994. Wildcats, the animated series. Did y'all ever watch that? Didn't Ice T do the theme song? Just kept on saying the name Wildcats. Bucky. We still haven't gotten a Marvel Legends Death Watch, but he was a pretty cool character, too. Another heavy metal card. Heavy metal cards. Pretty ladies. Mordare. Didn't know too much about him. There's some indie comic stuff here. Uh, Nelson's Mordare. But I remember, maybe I've had like a like preview comic of that. Uh, a foil Santa Claus card from wizard punisher's arsenal yeah get you some stats over here what does he have morally death thor nice thor card ah a great galactus card i love this one And I loved... Well, this one was actually pretty hard to find, I remember. I had to trade this one. This was originally someone else's. I believe this was either uh, Vladimir, my friend Vladimir, and I had a fr uh, friend Paolo. And I think that was their card that I traded for something else. I think maybe it was a cable card because I had two. Because that's what we used to do. We'd take them uh, to like six. It was like about sixth grade. Fifth grade or sixth grade. Sixth grade with this series here. And uh, we were taking these cards to school and trading them. But, yeah, I was really happy to get this. Like, I'd never find... Out of all the packs that I got, I'd never get the Super Scroll. That's how it worked. X-Force. Dark Hawk. Love this picture of Nightcrawler. Here he is wearing his little hat. Oh, this one is also pretty cool. This one took me a while to get the Absorbing Man. This looks to be uh, an Art Adams. Just one of my favorite illustrations of Absorbing Man. This little kid with a cowboy hat there. Very nice card. Uh, another bullshit Tops Youngblood card. Or another Art Adams. Red Skull hanging out with uh, AIM. Fighting Captain America. This guy's like, he just walked in and he's like, hey, what's going on over here? Captain America doesn't even have a shield there. Why is Red Skull, he has got like some nice dockers. I like that. This awesome card there too here. Oh, my favorite of all, Doctor Doom. Looks uh, to be Art Adams as well that did this. His intelligence is at six. Durability is at five. I don't know, that's debatable. Very debatable. 
but um I like that he uses duplicates of himself that are so flawless that no one can tell the difference. The Doom bots, yes. Uh, I would say that's part... That should be uh, taken into consideration when you are thinking about his um, durability. Because you never know if it's him or not. Uh, anything cool here? Ah, the Celestial. I liked this card. This is like the first Celestials card. On the third series, the first time you get to see it, which is what I liked. I really wish that what, in hindsight, if they had kept the comics, the cards to look all the same, if they had kept them to look very similar with the borders, I would like another series that continues from these. Just double the amount of characters and cards and do with the same border here. That would be awesome. I always liked this artwork here too. Another Art Adams. Electra versus Daredevil. Slightly damaged, but I can't really... I can't get rid of this. This is such a good card. Moonstar, Danny Moonstar. Ah, another Hildebrandt. Rogue versus Mar Miss Marvel. Let's see that happen in a movie. With those exact outfits. Please. Please. Just because they look better. This is the 93 series. Still, I need to go back and just get all those. The face of Darkhawk. And, uh... I think we should just move on. Because we are, um... Spending a lot of time on this. And I need to go to work. Because I am still working. Um... I'm going to go to this one. had a checklist, too. Let's see what else I got here. Another Spider-Man. Wolverine, your name is Logan. Is that your first name or your last name? Yep. Can your claws really cut through anything? Yep. Especially people who ask nosy questions. Yeah. Cool. Nice X-Factor card there. I'm going to go through these a lot faster here. Rogue on a beach. A lot of the same ones. The Violator, which is this? Is this from a... This was probably not part of your average uh, series. I love the Nebula card. This was uh, just really well done here, too. Silver Surfer. Free scroll war. Craven. I'm craving some Craven. Craven took wasn't that easy to find either. He was hiding in the shadows, but no, the card wasn't really too easy to come by. Spider-Man's web shooters. Puppet Master, who remembers him? Quasar, look at Qua <laughs> this is uh Quasar went through a few different outfits. Uh, Abomination. Good Abomination card. Did, man, I can't even remember if Abomination had a Series 2 card. Or Series 1 for that matter. But I like Abomination. I like Doctor Doom. A good Doctor Doom card. Mad Thinker. I like that monster. The Mad Thinker's monster. Another Watcher. Okay. A lot of these are repeats. You probably already noticed that too. And we're going to go through one more row. And I'll probably do a third video just showing the uh, holograms. <sighs> For my favorite Art Adams illustrations of uh, Jean Grey there. Messed up Galactus card, but I had to keep that in the collection. Same thing with Puck. This is a messed up Puck card. I love this one. This is messed up also, but look at the uh, art on this. Just the, What sticks out is the coloring. Looks very, um, looks very 80s anime to me for some reason. It's a real good card. Looks, looks like straight out of a cartoon. Doesn't show who, of course, who did the, the coloring on this, but good job, you. Uh, nice Ultron one there. And uh, is this the Eric Larson Spider-Man? 
Doesn't show you here either. Looks a lot like a, yeah, it's an Eric, I see a signature. Looks very Eric Larson there. I always like the way he did Spider-Man. I like his artwork generally, but his Spider-Man was pretty cool. The Avengers West Coast. Iron Man's Armor. Thor, man, another mad thing. I got a bunch of these Matt Thinker ones. Another good illustration of Smart Hulk. Hulk versus Spidey. Mr. Fix-It Hulk. Uh, yeah. And uh, the Masters of Evil. That's who I wanted to see in the movie. We did get the Baron Zemo. We haven't gotten the Wrecking Crew yet or Gargoyle. Um, but there was a... Uh, on the Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. We did get a Mr. Hyde and uh, a Absorbing Man. Which to me... I oh, should have waited on that. Because he would have been good for a mainline Thor Hulk movie. Oops. <laughs> Quasar. Nice illustration of Hobgoblin. Hobgoblin. Hobgoblin, Kingpin, Baron Strucker, and Night Stalkers, the Rose. I love the Rose. He's another cool character. He would have worked out well for a Daredevil series, um, or you know, something along those lines. You know, something like a Moon Knight or a Luke Cage sort of show. Or hell, give him his own show. He's an underrated character. There's a couple of cool characters that I liked. Uh, and the Destroyer. Uh, another Alien vs. Predator one here. Uh, if you got... Um, like Cardiac. He's another weird character that I like too. Another Nebula. Hildebrandt Art. Yep. Boris Vallejo. Professor X. Very well done. And it's a decent Venom. Another Eric Larson Venom. Now, I wasn't a big fan of Venom with a tongue. Still am not. But Eric Larson, if there's anyone that would like to illustrate Venom aside from McFarlane, would be uh, Larson Real good at that. Hey, Morbius, the living vampire. I want to say that this was probably the only Morbius card. And another one of my favorite Spider-Man characters, Chameleon. Craven's brother. He's very low on everything, but there's just something about him. And a DC, finishing off this video here, with a DC hologram. A character named Wave Rider that looks, oddly enough, like a like Fire Lord. Uh, you can tell I have no, it's not in the best condition. I didn't care about my DC cards as much, but I should go back and get those. They're pretty decent. You know what? I actually like the DC cards, the first DC cards set, uh, more so than the series three Marvel. I do kind of actually like them, but, um, yeah, I had a buddy Daniel that was collecting those and, um, I wasn't a huge fan. Just wanted the main ones like Superman and Batman, but. I mean, good luck. You're going to get something like Andromeda. But anyway, so that's it, folks. Uh, with this one, I'm going to do one more with holograms. And um, yeah, I'm glad uh, if you had any uh, adventures with these cards or if you saw some that I didn't know of that uh, you can help me identify, that'd be great. I have a kingpin on the floor. I fell down. Anyways, uh, take care, folks. We'll see you later on.